Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a channel reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of April, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month, uh, it's inspired in the celebration of the new astrological year and also of the Aries season at whole that we're now departing. And it's called What's New Behind the Corner. And it's a reading that focuses on the theme of new beginnings, new opportunities and changes coming up for us all during this period of time. So if you would like to know more details about this special offer or any other of my services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Capricorn, I feel like for some of you, there might be a change of mind um, taking place during this period of time, particularly when it comes to material matters. So some of you might be uh, focused quite a lot, and that's where the opportunity is arising here, is to focus and concentrate in what you want to get right when it comes to finances, when it comes to projects, when it comes to investments, when it comes to your work at a whole. Some of you are ready to make some changes or to make some preparations for changes coming up. Some of you are questioning the last decisions you have been making when it comes to work and finances. It's almost like you're analyzing um, a situation uh, and having just a change of mind, like thinking really deeply and seeing a different angle, a different angle to explore um, or to take in consideration that probably before a certain uh, factor that made you have this question, you, you couldn't have. So it's like there there has been uh, reasons outside of you that are now making you question. Uh, for some of you, the validity of what you're doing. So the type of job you're doing, uh, what you're doing with your life at a whole, does it have value? Does it mean anything for you? Does it respect you? Does it feel right? Does it feel organic? Does it feel truthful? So some of you are really in this mode of wanting to release yourselves from energies that might be toxic, that might be li um, about lies as well. There's something here about lies, about deception, about perhaps wearing here a mask um, that you don't want to wear anymore. So some of you might be thinking about dropping some facade you are involved in. Something just that doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like it respects you. Uh, something that it doesn't add value to your life. You're 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 in a time where you're very carefully um, taken to this um, understanding that your life is too precious. It's too damn precious to waste another minute in whatever this is that some of you have been wasting and seeing that. Perhaps the fountain of youth, of love, of abundance that you have been seeking is in a totally different place from the one you have been uh, seeking. So it's like some of you are discovering that you have been wrong about something or that you have not been seeing something right and you're now becoming open or that's the universal universe um, proposal for you during mid-April is for you to become open-minded to a new way to profit, to a new way to add value into your life, to a new way to relate, including a new way to relate to your own self. Some of you might be making important decisions when it comes to your health and well-being as well, perhaps changing your diet or, uh, you know, uh, changing something, a habit, a routine uh, that does not, you know, that is not contr contributing to your well-being or you're putting more attention in terms of your physical self and your image and you want to take your care of your, take good care of yourself um, and discovering some aspects of this relationship with your body that perhaps you have um, not you know been in contact with before there's something about the relationship with the body that it's super important for some of you capricorns some of you you know you might uh some of you capricorns um that have been recently mothers or that are currently pregnant there might be this issue with the body the body changes um that you might be adapting 
like you might be adapting either to again body changes due to pregnancy or to any other cause but pregnancy is coming up strongly or due to surgery or some of you are looking to make certain you know um aesthetical changes including surgery to feel better or you might just have a health concern that also uh implies here a cut so implies a surgery that seems to be um the right thing to do because the opportunity is of so sort so for those of you thinking about it um i feel like there might be a certain help allied to a surgery or allied to an intervention it's just going to benefit your health inside and out. Uh, for others of you, this is about making an important decision. Again, um, to cut off ties here uh, with something and move to something else that you feel is going to bring you more abundance into your life. It's just abundance in all senses are very, is very important for some of you Capricorns during this mid-April. And you want to ensure that uh, what you're about to do is going um it's like it's going to be done in a way that, that you keep yourself protected and the, the things that you hold dear as well so you are in this also this very strong self preservation mode and some of you might not be at times because the nine of wands is a, is the challenge trusting um the change trusting the advice you get um, including medical advice for those of you that are seeking medical advice so be mindful that your stubbornness or rigidity or trust issues might at times interfere again with the clarity of a situation so at times you just might not hear advice whichever type of advice it is and all other um, in other regard it also feels like some of you could have a very inflexible way of perceiving something that also during this time doesn't suit you um the best especially if it's indeed preventing you or keeping you from again having a healthier relationship with something um for some of you i feel like you're very concerned as well with uh finances and regretting perhaps some investments you've made and you're trying to um during mid-april see how you could uh, maybe uh, you know take a step back and 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 recover from some sort of financial fear or loss some of you could have an unexpected as well kind of expense coming up or a financial notification that again in one way it helps you in another way concerns you because you might not trust what you're getting i keep getting like your trust is very difficult to earn in whichever scenario but especially concerning here your material resources some of you are very um you know very hard on this and if someone is asking you for money someone is owing you money if uh, you're not being paid according to your rights if there's any type of um exploitation going on you know, you're not going to tolerate it. You're not going to have it. You're going to fight. You're going to fight to earn something that you feel is being put at risk with the Nine of Wands. You feel like there's something that it belongs to you that might be put to risk. Some of you, this might be concerning, again, your finances. For others, it's also including custody. Um, family uh, issues, children involved in particular might be a difficult topic here. Uh, for those that are, you know, divorcing, separating, uh, custody issues are definitely indicated here as well now that I'm looking into it. Um, you just might see something that you were not um, seeing because when we're in a very stubborn, you know, rigid mindset, we only see what we, you know, choose to see, what we find acceptable. So when we open our minds to, to the multiverse in which we truly live and we see from various perspectives and angles, we uh, open our minds to possibilities and to change. And the fact here is that there's something about the way you trust or don't trust 
that is in the spotlight. For some of your Capricorns, you will be in the end of those that perhaps trust blindly. And so this will be put here, called out this issue of yours, because maybe you're now seeing the consequence of trusting blindly into something. For others of you, it's the opposite end, and you're not trusting at all. Perhaps you don't want to share custody with... Um, with the parent of your child, perhaps you don't want to pay for child support or your partner is doing this to you, whichever it is, there's just something um, coming here in terms of your field of experiences that is provocative uh, when it comes to rights, when it comes to resources, when it comes to what you hold as being your entitlement. For others of you Capricorns, I feel like you also should be mindful of not being feeding here the inner beast. This means that some of you, you know, are internalizing energy that is negative, particularly guilt. Some of you might feel guilty about something that is not even your fault. Uh, be careful of going into this guilt tripping because you you might really find yourself to be guilty of something you're not, and you might discover. That there's something, you know, that occurred. Again, that energy of lies or deception. You might discover that there's something you really thought it was your fault. It was your responsibility and end up seeing that you were involved in something you didn't knew was going on. So I hope you have a great mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it and please keep doing so. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.